In this video, we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting random variables from each other, as well as adding and subtracting, as well as multiplying constant multiples to random variables of x. So let's go ahead and start with how do we add a constant to a random variable x. So we can start by just looking at how do we calculate the expected value. Well, the expected value is equal to x plus or minus that constant. In other words, we take our expected value of x and we add or subtract whichever constant is identified in our equation. When we add and subtract a constant to a random variable x, our variance does not change. Our variance remains the same. So our variance of x plus or minus said constant is simply equal to our initial variance of x. And as we remember from our introduction to standard deviation, standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance. So if the variance does not change, then neither does the standard deviation. <clears throat> so the standard deviation or sigma is equal to x plus or minus a constant is simply equal to the initial standard deviation of x. When we add a constant multiple to a random variable, we can calculate our expected value in standard deviation uh, quite quickly. So our expected value of ax is equal to a, that's our constant multiple, times our expected value, that's our initial expected value of x. Our variance of ax is equal to a, that's the constant multiple squared, times the variance of x. And then finally, our standard deviation of ax is equal to the absolute value of a times the standard deviation of x. Now, I want to pay particular attention here to the absolute value sign. Just as a refresher, the absolute value means that if there's a negative number inside the absolute value brackets, that number becomes positive. Now, why do we have that? Well, we could multiply by a constant multiple that is a negative number, say negative 2. And when we deal with our variance, when we square negative 2, we get positive 4, right? Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. But when we deal with our standard deviation, we need to ensure that we do not have a negative standard deviation. Why don't we have a negative standard deviation? Well, because standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance. <clears throat> and we can't take the square root of a negative number, we know we have to have a positive standard deviation. So this is why these absolute value brackets are around the constant multiple there. So whatever is inside there becomes a positive automatically. So the standard deviation of ax is equal to the absolute value of a times the standard deviation of x. Now finally, we can add and subtract random variables from each other. So the expected value of x plus or minus y is simply equal to the expected value of x plus or minus the expected value of y. Which means that the expected value of x plus y is simply equal to the expected value of x plus the expected value of y. The expected value of x minus y is equal to the expected value of x minus the expected value of y. Now I want you to pay careful attention here because we're going to learn how to calculate the variance of adding and subtracting two random variables from each other. So the variance of x plus or minus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y. Okay, particular attention here that this is not plus or minus, this is plus. Meaning that if we're calculating the variance of x minus y, it still remains the variance of x plus the variance of y. Which means when we calculate the standard deviation of x plus or minus y, we're taking the square root of the variance of x plus the variance of y. Now let's go ahead and do a practice problem so that this will start to make a little more sense to us. So given independent random variables x and y, with means and standard deviation as shown, find the mean and standard deviation of each of the variables in A through D. Okay, so here we have our means. In this column right here, we have our means. 
And here we have our standard deviations. Okay, so let's work on A. So question A, 3x. So therefore, the expected value of 3x is equal to A times our expected value of x. So therefore, 3 times the expected value of x, which is 10, 3 times 10 is equal to 30. Our standard deviation of 3x is equal to the absolute value of a times our standard deviation of x. Well, a is equal to 3 times our standard deviation of x, which is 2. So therefore, our standard deviation is equal to 6. So that is multiplying a constant to a random variable x. In question B, we're dealing with x, or sorry, y plus 6. So we're adding a constant multiple to our random variable y. So our expected value of y plus or minus a constant is equal to the expected value of y plus or minus said constant. So our expected value of y is 20 plus our constant of 6. So we get an expected value of 26. Our standard deviation of y plus or minus a constant is simply equal to the standard deviation of y. So our standard deviation of y plus or minus Oh, sorry, y plus 6 is equal to our initial standard deviation of y, which is equal to 5. Okay, our standard deviation does not change there. Question C, we're asked about x, or sorry, uh, the expected value of x plus y. x plus y. So let's calculate our expected value of x plus y. So our expected value of x plus or minus y is equal to the expected value of x plus or minus the expected value of y. Well, in this case, we're talking about the expected value of x plus y. So our expected value of x is 10 and our expected value of y is 20. So we're talking about 10 plus 20, which gives us an expected value of x plus y of 30. To calculate our standard deviation of x plus y, we first have to calculate the variance of x plus y. And we remember that the variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y. Now you may say they did not give us variance, but they did give us standard deviation. So we're going to take the standard deviation of x squared plus the standard deviation of y squared, which will give us the variance of both x and y. So we get equals 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is equal to 4 plus 25 which gives us a variance of x plus y to be 29. So that's our variance. Now we need to calculate our standard deviation. So our standard deviation of x plus y is equal to the square root of the variance of x plus y, which is equal to the square root of 29, which is equal to 5.2. Three, eight, five. So that's C. Now D, we were dealing with X minus Y. So our expected value of X minus Y is equal to the expected value of X minus the expected value of Y. So our expected value of X 
is 10 and our expected value of y is 20. So we get 10 minus 20, which is of course equal to negative 10. Now our variance of x minus y, to calculate our standard deviation, let's first calculate our variance, is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y. Okay, well, this is equal to our standard deviation of x squared plus the standard deviation of y squared of course, we've already done this, so we know that we arrive at uh, 2 squared plus 5 squared, which gives us 4 plus 25, which gives us 29, right? Similar to the answer we got in question C. So our standard deviation of x minus y is equal to the square root of the variance of x minus y, which is equal to the square root of 29, which is equal to 5.385. So just like that, we've identified how we add, multiply, add and multiply constants to our random variables of x, as well as how to add and subtract random variables from each other. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.